Hello folks, in this video we are going to discuss uh, how I went about my DLR preparation and what are the things that worked for me which uh, helped me in getting the 99th percentile in the CAT 2023. Uh, this is going to be a video from an aspirant's perspective. I already made a video talking about how I went about my VRC preparation and uh, how my CAT attempt went. So if you have not watched that video, uh, check out the description of this video, click the link and watch it before you watch this video. So let's get started. Firstly, her DLR was a nightmare section for me. Uh, I was very volatile in my uh, mocks as well so i had to make sure that i get the stability i i get the confidence that i'll be able to get the first set right so that was my first goal so and to do that i uh, did two to three sets every single day so i went about uh, you know uh, searching for different varieties of sets and did three sets or two to three sets every day which built up the base and rigor which is required for uh, the preparation right apart from uh, the past year DLR sets so that was the first thing that I did and uh, secondly I took a lot of sectionals so uh, I realized that my gap was in the strategy aspect so I did not know when to leave a set when to keep doing a set and all of these things sort of bug me in my uh, during my mocks so what I did was I took a lot of sectionals and I made sure that uh, uh, I tried different uh, strategy and uh, check whether it worked for me or not. For example, uh, initially I did not spend two to three minutes to evaluate sets. I just jumped into a set and I did it, but that did not work for me at all because sometimes I get stuck in a difficult set and that completely screws up my attempt. So what I did was I then I realized that I need to take at least a couple of minutes to make sure that I evaluate the sets and pick the ones that are familiar to me and uh, uh, that I feel that it is very doable, right? So that is something that I uh, figured it out during my uh, sectionals. And the second thing is developing the uh, decision making ability, right? So while you are taking the sectionals, make sure that you actively work on the decision making uh, uh, aspect of it, which is should I dump this set or not? Should I go to the next one? Uh, only you will know uh, when you can do that. Again, there is no one size fit all solution here. Uh, yeah, so going about saying that, okay, I'm going to dump the set in eight minutes. I'm going to dump the set in 10 minutes or are you going to try it for 15 minutes? It all depends on your strengths and weaknesses. So make sure that you uh, do a lot of trial and error and don't hesitate to fail do while you're practicing in sectionals or while you're doing mocks. So that is the second thing that really helped me. So uh, if I have to just go about uh, my strategy, so I took the first three minutes to evaluate uh, uh, all the sets and pick one and then go about solving it for probably 10 minutes. Again, I did not have a a uh, rough uh, st hard stop for when I should drop a set especially for the first set because I know that first set makes all the difference and if I'm able to get the first set, set right I'm going to uh, go in with the momentum and do the next set as well right so uh, yeah that was my uh, plan and uh, after 10 minutes if I feel like I am nowhere then I might go uh, drop that set and go to the next one so this was my rough plan and now let's uh, see how my actual uh, DLR attempt uh, went in 2023 CAT. So what happened was I did pick one set and I was able to solve the set. But the funny thing here was something was not uh, falling in place. I realized that the possibility that I arrived at was the only possibility, but I was not uh, uh, properly getting, getting the grid right, but it was not affecting my uh, answers as well. I knew that this is not going to affect uh, the the answers that I'm going to mark. So I went in with the confidence and marked all the four uh, questions and I was able to get the set right. But the thing here is uh, the confidence, right? So uh, that will come with a lot of practice and I was able to make that decision because I knew that that was the only possibility left and even though I had made a mistake somewhere and I couldn't figure out where I made the mistake, I went ahead and marked the, all the four questions and I was able to get that right. So obviously, uh, uh, that the, there's a small uh, like aspect to it but yeah uh, keeping that apart uh, not second guessing yourself helped a lot in that uh, situation so the sec uh, after doing my first set i went on to my second set and i completed my second set and uh, i had 30 seconds left and then i realized that i marked one value uh, wrongly on the table and uh, 
I was panicking at this point because I I did not have the time to fix it. I tried to rapidly fix it and uh, mark the answer, but I could not do that. And I saw the timer uh, go down and uh, my quant section opened. And I was furious at myself because I got the second set in my bag and I missed it because I made a small mistake of uh, writing the va- value in a uh, wrong place on the table. So. i really could not uh, come out of this because uh, such a small mistake could cost the uh, entire set but it so happened that i got three questions right out of the five but anyways but i did not know that at that point in time and i uh, wasted 10 minutes or 15 minutes in my quant because of me uh, worrying about you know how i screwed up my dlr section so in the next video we are going to look at how how i uh, went about my quant section so stay tuned for that video hope this helped uh, you in uh, getting a starting point as to how you should uh, go about your dlr preparation so best wishes for cat 2024